According to the government's delivery tracker portal, the NPP administration has completed over 8,000 infrastructure projects. Today, we engage residents of the Ablekuma West and Central Municipality on their views on their newly completed roads. At Ablekuma Central, we engage a shop owner on her assessments of the newly constructed pedestrian walkway on Oblongo Street. This place is a Russia flamingo and I've been here for five years now. I don't think there is importance in this thing that they are using because this is not a big uh, like street that people pass by with seven cars. Moreover, the street stretch is very small. So with the pavements, I don't know the use of it. Like they shouldn't have done it. The, the money they they are using to construct this pavement and they could have used it for other stuff. There are roads around here which are very bad and there are still people in Accra here who don't have schools, people study under trees and there are people who lack water and other stuff. They could have used the money for this thing. So I don't see the sense of this pavement thing they are doing. When they constructed the road, we constructed the road. There was a zebra crossing at the intersection there. They should have done it, but they didn't. So it caused a lot of accidents around here, which is very bad. So I call on the authorities to come and reconstruct it for us so that it will help in the easy crossing of the road. Although a good part of the car range of road seems completed, the road unfortunately stops right at the T-junction without any sign of continuation. We speak to residents who live on the side of the road that did not benefit from the road construction. About two and a half years now. I think this we call here Abasi Dansuma, Liberty Park Abasi. Got it. So I think that's the, the normal name I knew for this place. This road, it wasn't like this before. It was very rough. And I think just recently before the lockdown, they came to do the, you know, the, to come to asphalt it. So that's all I can say. I think from runabout to here, particular, that's where they've only asphalted. And, and the down here, they just grade it, but they didn't do the asphalt yet. So I think that is what has happened here. We, at least, if, as you can see the area, we need more, you know, development in the area. So if you see just the place they grade, they have to, you know, continue because the dust is disturbing people here. So I think we need that one. We are at Dansoma and Kifit Town. Oh, the road was bad, but now they are doing it. But for, the, for some time now, they stopped doing the road. They said they will leave it for three months before they will come back and come and tidy it up. But it is, we looked after them, we don't see anything going on. And there's a whole lot of dust around. When car is passing, you can't even breathe. So we want them to do something about it. Oh, it's a long time. It has passed three months. Uh, around, mm, it's getting to is it five, six months now. It's very boring. It's very boring to see people. You see, as the car, the police car is passing, you see the whole lot of dust. It's very boring. It's very sad to us for a whole Dansuma community. And Dansuma is Dansuma for you. Yeah. We feel proud of Dansuma. So this place is too much dusty. So you have to tidy it up so that you can feel happy here. So far as everybody is having his or her problem in the house, individual homes. So at the end of the day, nobody has come out that because of the dust, that's why I'm sick. But they are having personal issues with the roads. And we want the government to do something about it before election starts. They don't do it to affect a whole lot. Got to affect the election and all those stuff. Our final stop today is the Aliu Mahama Street. Although residents appreciate the completion of the road, they plead with government to fix their drainage problems to decrease flooding caused by choked gutters. Uh, the problem which has uh, affected people here, see, from here to the junction, is blocked here. Look at what is happening here. Hmm? You see, whatever is happening, from here to the other side, it's stuck. the water is stuck. So when it starts, mosquitoes, you see, there are people sleeping in containers, kiosks, whatever, whatever. It is suffering, 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 suffering. 
We reported this before we did the robberies. What I want is for it to, to help us. While residents admit that there have been some work done on their roads, they can't vouch for the relevance of these projects. For City News, I am Jifa Ametam.